What's up, folks? I'm back. Uh, I'm real busy, so hopefully I can be quick here. We got two pairs of heads I'm working on right now. These all just came back from the machine shop with fresh valve jobs. Uh, these are all being seated with uh, manly stainless valves. Uh, 1.90 inch, 1.57 inch. Look at them pretty valve jobs. Woo! And look at them pretty valves. But yeah, uh, last time we talked about the intake entrances. These are gasket mash. These are pretty much done. I just got to do a little uh, making them pretty at the corners and you know all of that stuff, shaping them up. Uh, probably wouldn't change flow any at all. But we open these all the way through. Gasket mashed on the intake and I actually pushed into these walls quite a bit. Uh, I do not recommend that unless you've already screwed up multiple pairs of heads trying to figure out the limits of these heads. And one thing I will point out, if you look here, this is not the thickness you have to work with, man. This goes in quite a bit. You got a small, thin area here to work with. Same here. You see that? Same here. There's not a whole lot. So if you get too greedy trying to just hoard all the flow, you're going to end up screwing your heads up. I'm telling you. Gasket match it. Push through. Don't get too greedy. The whole point is to make horsepower, not to cause yourself a bunch of money and headaches. Okay. You're going to break through if you get greedy. I can promise you that I've done it before trying to find the limits of these, these castings. Okay. Uh, trying to learn how to port these heads. That's all I really cared about for a, for a specific amount of time. Anyway, let's moving on along. We did a lot of tapering through here. Tapering is when you start out, you know, gasket matched and you get a little bit thinner. You want to close that gap just a tad bit all the way through the runner as you run through. What that's going to do is it's going to make the air shoot into these bowls. Okay, so at the end of this runner, when it transitions into this bowl, that air is going to shoot out. It's going to cause the air to speed up. I still have to go in here and surface tune. I'm going to be polishing, uh, roughing up some areas, all of that stuff. And I have a formula that I've came up with that, I, that seems to work the best on the flow bench. So, and it's going to help assist in that uh, tapering and speeding up the air. It's kind of just like when you squeeze the tip of a water hose. You know, you got all that boost behind here. You got all that water pressure at the behind your uh, your thumb, and you put your thumb there, and you you squeeze it down nice and tight, and that water just shoots out. It gives you a lot of velocity, okay? But it only it only works where at the end of that tapering, it's got to open up so we can we can shoot, okay? If this is my water hose and I squeeze it right here, it's not going to shoot out of here. It's going to slow down and then just try to speed back up and get back to the speed it was. But if we're all the way up here at the top where it opens up and gets free range, it's going to shoot out like crazy because it's going to be one in that free range. You're going to build up the anticipation for the freedom of that air when you taper. Um, back to the valve job. Uh, look at them pretty valve jobs, man. Look at them. Look how shiny that is. My goodness, man, I love my machine shop. I got to keep them secret, man. I there are a few guys, there are two different machine shops I work with uh, that do my my valve jobs for me. But anyway, this is a five angle on the exhaust, four angle on the intake. One thing that I've noticed is four angle is probably the best you're going to get out of an intake. Any more angles than that on the intake, you're pretty much wasting time, money, whatever. Uh, sometimes they're more expensive for a better valve job five angle and i didn't do these bowls didn't do anything in these bowls we always wait until after the valve job to do the bowls because the valve job cuts in here and leaves these nasty lips look at that and that's just going to cause a ton of turbulence a lot of heat a lot of inefficiency back up a lot of air and uh obviously we don't want none of that if this thing will get focused in same thing here on the intake uh this is one of the most terrible areas of our heads especially after a valve job man this is so sharp and gritty look at that edge air does not like sharp edges okay that's that we it does not like sharp edges this is going to cause a ton of turbulence when the air shoots over that so what we got to do is we got to get in here and blend it and radius this short turn 
Re-radius in the short turn on the intake side isn't too terribly hard to do, uh, but we want to make this a curve, okay? So we got to do a lot of blending all the way around this, this top half of this circle. Uh, so, of course, that's why I wait until I do our, you know, do my bowls, wait until after the valve jobs. We opened up the exhaust runners a lot, okay, and we got them matched. I did a lot of measuring throughout the runners. They're all matched up. They should flow almost identical. Um, pushed up on this top wall a little bit, side walls, all of that. Uh, like I said, don't get too greedy pushing, trying to get volume. I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna screw your head up. Uh, pushing up on this top wall is the number one way guys screw up the the exhaust side. They get right in the water. There's water water jackets flowing right above these. So I know how far I can push. If you don't know how far you can push, don't push far. I'm telling you that. Uh, back behind here, there's air. Okay, you'll break right through to the outside of the head. We don't want to do that. Uh, underneath the short turn, there's water. Okay, so I also wait till the head is completely finished, at least on the exhaust side, to, to rework the short turn on the exhaust. Reason being is each head is different. Okay, each head is going to give you its, its different headaches. These are cast heads. They're going to be, it's like a box of chocolates. You're going to run into crap. Uh... You know, not every head is going to flow smoothly, transitioning from the back wall to the top wall. And there's certain things you want to do depending on what angle and what shapes you end up with through here. There's certain things you want to do to the short-term radius to complement it. And I'm telling you, the flow of your head in general is going to be limited or maximized by your short-term radius. Okay, especially on the exhaust side. Uh, the short-term radius is the most important part. Um... So, yeah, just some things to think about. And uh, next time when I come back, uh, hopefully we'll have a, a beautiful, you know, we will have polished sections, a really pretty looking head. Uh, it should be about complete. And uh, maybe we can get on the flow bench and uh, you guys can understand why I think I know what I'm talking about. But until next time, deuces. It's been real.